guys, welcome back for another episode of Plague Zone Survivors. All right, so honestly, guys, this is not bad of a game at all. All right, hence why I'm making another video on it. Um, it's pretty solid. It has some serious potential, guys. I don't know if you guys watched the last video, uh, but it has some serious potential. Now, when we go through a lot of this stuff, and before we get into that, make sure that you guys are subscribed. What am I doing? What am I doing wrong to make you guys not subscribe? Let me know in the comments below. I got to know so I can make these videos better for you and myself. All right, so going through all this, you can clear these little zombies, these little zombie areas here. Um, wait a minute. Oh, we got to put some more heroes in. All right. So for some reason, it didn't let me do my, my team. Hold on one second, guys. I forgot that I did get another, I did get another uh, hero here. And I got mine set on auto and I got it set on times two. It's phenomenal, guys. You got a gotcha game, and you also have a base builder in one. Who can who can ask for more? I mean, I could, but you know, honestly, it's a pretty well solid game, and they did some they did their thing with this one. Honestly, they really really did. Um, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and clear this area right here, and we're also going to build the training ground. All right, so let me see. Training ground can train your hero you own. Training can provide hero combat bonus. You can also unlock more training project by upgrading training ground. So you want to keep on upgrading your stuff. Now, I'm right now is VIP zero, and I have a second builder right now. But I'm spending 50 gold each and single time for this. Now, if you guys want to make sure that it's permanent, you have to hit VIP three. All right, so it's not gonna let me um, hit that VIP three right now. All right, so we got the training ground, and then we have another area here. Um, let me see, your base is level six. You can explore this area by level seven. So it lets you know, hey, you need to start doing some other stuff. So I think if you can, if you get confused on what you want to upgrade, just click on the actual build button and then it'll lead you in the right direction where you should be upgrading your stuff. All right, so if you guys have not joined an alliance as well, make sure you guys join one of those or a clan and then you guys can um, go from there. Also, you guys wanna make sure you guys are cooking some troops as well conscripting them is what they call them in this game here um, you want to go ahead and do that and also you want to make sure you upgrade this as much as you possibly can because once you upgrade this i'm going to be able to do let's see single conscription is from three goes from three thousand to four thousand and soldier capacity goes from fifty thousand to sixty thousand so it's going to take 15 minutes to upgrade that um, i will upgrade that in just a second but i want to go ahead and knock out these these recommended ones that they're telling me that i should do so let's upgrade that all right, so I'm going to do the order on what this thing says, just for now. All right, and also you can look at other people's bases and things like that. So you can just click on the chat and people share their bases. You can go through there. They can like it if they don't. You can look at their little layouts and give yourself somewhat of a, I guess, an idea how to lay out your base. But you can pretty much let it. I don't really do all that. I'm not really into, like, base layouts and all that. Um, yeah, I'm kind of simple. But I'll give them a like. I can't give them any more likes. So tack 10 likes is the max. All right. Also, you guys can purchase certain cer certain items with certain of your resources. So if you're short on something and you need to get something else, you can also do that as well in the store. All right. Also, your warehouse is going to protect all of your, your assets, of course. And then you also have, it's just everything is the, pretty much the same thing that you're going to find in any other one of these little base builder games. All right, so there's nothing special, nothing new. All right, but it's just a different, you know, different dynamic and a bigger or a different community. So there's people been playing this game for some days now. I just started myself, so we're gonna have to go with that with a grain of salt. So we're having to play catch up just a little bit. All right, and that's what it looks like inside your base. You're gonna you're gonna upgrade and unlock certain things inside your base. You're gonna clear some of these little mounds, and you'll go from there. That way you can start putting some things around where you would like to put them. All right, so that's pretty much the inside of the base. I might have missed something. If I did, let me know in the comments below. All right, also you have these little city handbooks. Haven't really figured this part out yet. Um, it gives you like a little bit of history of the, the cities that you're gonna go ahead and do the siege rewards. You get your little rewards and you go from there. I haven't really figured that part out yet. Still, still pretty new. All right, then we come out to the world here. And of course, if you scroll out a little bit, you have fog. Now, I move where my alliance is, so their fog is uncovered. But where I was at, I had maybe about four squares on each way around me uncovered. And I had to do like an exploration here. 
Now you can have it set in place. So if you want to like explore that area and you want him to go back to another area after he's finished that one, and you don't have to worry about him going all back to the base, you can set it like that. I haven't done that yet. Um, I have one exploration person right now. And every now and then, they will find some special things. And you'll have like an icon that lights up and that will show you guys. Hopefully he finds something that way I can show you guys an icon. It looks like he's returning. I don't want him to return. So I want him to keep on keeping on, my friend. All right, and you, of course you're gonna look at your reports. I did a gathering right quick and I did 7,050 of the food here, okay? Uh, I mean, scout report, nothing special on the scouts. He's not finding anything. Right now he's just looking looking pretty um solo soloish oh he did find something so it goes to the little icon right here where it says item found in the bottom right all right and we probably should scroll in there we got an abandoned mall now what's going to happen we, we can go ahead and claim this now if you were going to i guess sometimes you can send troops to some of the little icons on the on the map sometimes that happens all right um other things you can do some searches as well if you're looking for a certain zombies It'll search the next level that you can attack. Um, I haven't gotten to my max yet. So let's go ahead and dispatch these guys right here. Hopefully we'll be okay. Well, there we go. And then we'll do some more exploration as well. Because I like to know what the heck is around me. Okay. And of course you can do your little clan thing. You could do your, your tech. Go ahead and do your donations. So like I said, it's pretty much the same thing like any other of the base builders. But to me, this really has a lot of potential. It's a breath of fresh air. So if you guys are looking for a brand new one, I would recommend this one. Hashtag, I'm not sponsored for saying that. I just I'm to give you guys an honest opinion on that right here. Now, of course, this game does have some things to change and some things to fix more than likely. But I haven't found anything that I haven't I have disliked on the game yet. All right. Just I think the VIP system might be kind of slow, I think. But I could be wrong. Maybe. All right, so you're gonna also log in each day. Once you log in, you're gonna get some different things. I logged in for my second day, because I started yesterday, and now I have Rocky Base right now for a SSR hero. So he's in my lineup right now, and that's what I, I got going on right there. All right, so that is that. And that is it for my uh, this, this video here, guys. So let me know in the comments below if you guys wanna see this in some sort of a rotation, and I will more than likely try to appease you guys for that. But I mean, I'm trying to round up a lot of games. I'm trying to go back to where I used to do things, guys, as far as trying out new games. Because I like to try new games as well. Not play the same ones over and over. Because I get nowhere with that sometimes. It gets kind of boring. So it is pretty cool to um, start over. Or start it out like that. So that's what we're going to work on also. But either way, guys, in the comments, let me know what you guys feel. Also, subscribe. Or if you don't want to subscribe, that's fine as well. But let me know what it would take to get your subscription and your like. With all that being said, guys, we'll see you on the next one. Hopefully, peace.